Hello YouTubers, this is Lats, and today I want to show you how to uh, convert a 3D Blu-ray into a side-by-side -side video that you can play on Kodi. I've been uh, converting my Blu-rays into uh, MKV files, and uh, I could make another video to show you how you do that with Handbrake. It actually converts the uh, like the 32 gig Blu-ray video, it converts it down to about a 3 to 4 gig uh, MKV file that you can play uh, through Kodi when you update your video library and I uh, wanted to try to do this with 3D well when you rip a 3D uh, Blu-ray down with Handbrake it doesn't create a 3D video file the MKV is just standard video so I did some uh, looking online and I found a website that gives you a pretty, pretty excellent tutorial on how to create your own side-by-side -side 3D video. I also I had to find a, uh, a different step for the audio. Uh, we'll get into that later. Uh, but this is the website that I found. It's on uh, github.com. I'll uh, put a link to this video in the uh, description. And this is the, uh, you can see here, the title, Ultimate Blu-ray 3D Ripping Guide. And the first thing you want to do Scroll down here. Ah, uh, this is a, a Windows box. I'm running Windows 10. I have a, uh, a Blu-ray drive. Of course, you need that to uh, to be able to uh, read the Blu-rays. And then it suggests free disk disk space of at least 50 gig. And these days, uh, that's not a problem. But uh, the software that you want to use, uh, this suggests that you use any DVD uh, that will uh, decrypt the uh, the Blu-ray disc any DVD HD actually that will decrypt the Blu-ray uh, where it gives you full access all the decryption is gone I use a uh, another software package I'll show you the icon down here it's DVD fab passkey I use that to uh, decrypt my Blu-rays if I want to uh, make a and a backup copy of the video or whatever but I have found that you don't need to decrypt it to make this video if you're just going to shrink it down and play it through Kodi. So that part, of course you have to buy this, any DVD HD software as well. Uh, I would say for now just skip that. You can buy that later uh, if you feel that you need it or that other DVD fab pass key. Uh, so uh, you want a Handbrake. Actually with this tutorial I haven't used Handbrake. You can uh, download Handbrake. If you don't have it, I would suggest uh, go ahead and get that anyway. Like I said, that that uh, I use that quite often. Show you what that looks like here. Uh, Handbrake will shrink, like I said, all your Blu-rays down to about 3 to 4 gig, but for your uh, 3D, it's kind of useless. Uh, the EAC 3.2. Now this software you definitely need, so you want to go to that link and uh, and download the, uh, the EAC 3.2. You're going to use that. If you want subtitles, you want to keep the subtitles in your uh, uh, the video that you make, uh, you can use subtitle edit. I just tried that to see if it worked and it created the uh, the subtitle file just fine and I was, be able, I was able to uh, remux it at the end and add that subtitle file in. And then the, what you also need is this MKV Toolnix uh, you can go to that direct th download link and get that. You'll need that to uh, to mux all these, remux all these files, rejoin them together at the end to make your your final video. And then one thing extra that I found I needed uh, is uh, FFmpeg. You definitely need this for certain audio uh, versions on Blu-rays. Uh, this particular audio for the Blu-ray I'm using, which is the the Batman vs. Superman 3D Blu-ray, uh, EAC32 was unable to decode the uh, the audio file, so I had to figure out how to get that off. It was True HD, I think. I'll show you here in a second when we scan the disc and see what audio it is. But I did some digging online, and FFmpeg will do the job for you. So. I'll put this link in the video description as well. You will need to go out 
and uh, get this software too. So uh, the first thing you want to do is install all this software. The first thing you can install is this EAC 3.2 and I'll show you how I did it. He uh, has a guide here on the website how to extract all of this and install it. Uh, I put all these into one folder so I'll have all these tools together. Uh, they're all zip files except for the subtitle edit executable. So for the EAC 3.2 zip we'll open that up and you can see all the files associated with it. You can extract this just extract all of those into a folder. I'll show you what I did. I used his suggestion. I made a, uh, a BD rip file to hold the, the video and the audio and all the chapter information. And then for the software I'm using, I made a BRD soft folder. And then inside that, I made a EAC32 folder. And that is where I extracted everything from this zip file into there. So that's all you have to do to install that. Uh, with the FFmpeg that you download, I extracted that into this folder, FFmpeg that I made. Uh, the Frim software that you download, uh, you can extract that into uh, this Frim folder that I made. And then Movie Player, I haven't used that yet. It was one of the uh, downloads that came with the, uh, with the suggested downloads I haven't used that for anything but I have it extracted in here just in case I do in a movie player folder so like I said EAC 3.2 that's the main tool you're going to use and that's the first step I'm going to show you once you get all that installed you want to open up a command prompt and I CD to the uh, the BD rip folder and that way when I when I run my command it will extract the video into that BD rip folder so the first command you want to use is this command listed here which is running that EAC 32 executable and then you just list whatever drive your blu-ray is mine is E so you run that command it goes out and scans the blu-ray disk and it will show you the playlist file that has all of the audio and the video. You can see this is the name of the file that has the video. Uh, this movie's you know two hours and thirty-one minutes, forty-one seconds long. You can see the chapter information. This is the left and the right eye video information and also this here's the the audio that i was telling you about the true hd you have to run the uh, ffmpeg command to decode that true hd and uh, we're not going to do that yet i'm going to show you that uh, a little bit later but the first thing or the next thing we want to do is see the playlist information actually it's not a two it's a one so it's the same command and then just space one and right parenthesis and that will go out and scan that file and it will show you uh, detailed information about that file you still see the the left and right video the true HD and then you have some other audio as well that you can extract this AC3 stuff you can these files you can extract with EAC32 if you want to extract you know additional audio information I'm only worried about this main audio so that's all I'm going to show you how to do and then you have all of your subtitles in your different languages if you want to extract if you want to keep your subtitles like I said uh, I'll show you how to do that I don't do that with mine I never mess with subtitles but I will show you how to decode it and then convert it into a usable file to remux it so one of the uh, this long command you're going to use it's still EA C32 I just should still have it here Okay, so to pull all this information out, uh, you're going to do that one right parenthesis after your drive letter again. And the first thing you're going to pull out is your chapters information. And you can see that's listed as one. So you're going to do one colon and then give it a, 
a file name. I name it like the uh, the website says to chap.txt. Then number two, you can see number two listed on the uh, listing up here. That's your left eye video. So you type that in left.h264. That's going to be your left video file. Three colon. You can see three is your right eye. So three colon right.h264 for your right video. Number four, this works if four is uh, like a DTS video, I think it's called. This true HD, this is not going to work. So, what you want to do for now is we're not even going to mess with that because that will not work. It will, it will uh, immediately fail when it starts to decode. So, we'll skip that for next step. And then the last thing, if you want your subtitles, uh, if you want to pull, like this one is the English subtitle is listed as nine. So we'll put nine colon and then give it en uh, for English dot sup. That creates this uh, subtitle file. So you get all that typed in. Uh, again, it's going to decode all of this into this BD rip folder. So we're going to hit enter. And it says that it unrecognized command oh I know why because I added that folder into there now it will start running so you can see that uh, it recognized all the information that you want and now it's creating all those files and we will go out and look at it and if I go into the BD rip folder and there you can see you got your your uh, this is the audio that I made uh, testing it out straight from the blu-ray and that seemed to work so I'll show you how to pull that so right now you're pulling the uh, that chapter file the left and right video and then you should have your uh, subtitle file in there as well when we're done so we'll let that run for a while it'll take a uh, take quite a while to a finish but it'll tell you when it's done and then you'll have all your files so we'll come back a little later when this is all done uh, decoding okay so now we'll go uh, back to the folder that we had the BD rip folder and you can see now it's uh, finished over here it says done and you have your uh, chapter file and your left and right video and your subtitle folder and this is the audio file I'll uh, we'll show you how to get that here in a second I wanted to show you uh, one more thing this uh, frim download that is not on the website for the uh, the guide this guide here with all the software to download uh, frim is not on that uh, it is on this website right here videohelp.com which I will also add to your uh, video description so you want to go download that I've got the 64-bit uh, the version here so this is where you get frim so we're gonna go back to the BD rip folder and I'm gonna go ahead and delete that audio stream that was the the audio uh, of the movie so now we're gonna run this FF MPEG command to pull the audio from this file and uh, where you get this file name is up here where we did the uh, the check initially on the uh, the blu-ray to find the playlist file and you can see right there, there it is, the 00052.m2ts. So when you run the ffmpeg command, this is uh, what you'll type in, and you have to tell it the path to that file, which is your uh, Blu-ray drive, and then the bdmv folder slash stream and then inside that stream folder is that m2ts file and then you do the dash vn 
and they just give it a file name. I gave it audio stream dot ac3. So we will run that. And that will start decoding the audio file and it should show up over here on the left. There it is. Okay. So now uh, that's going to take a while. You can see the time of the movie. So we got a ways to go. It's like two and a half hours long. So I will be back after that is done decoding. Okay, so now we've got the, the audio decoded with this AC3 file. And the next thing that you're going to do is run this Frim decoder uh, for that Frim download that I showed you. And this is going to combine this the left and right uh, video into one MP4 file uh, that will have side-by-side uh, it will make it a side-by-side -side 3D video. So, uh, what we're going to do is you have to type this entire command out as you see it here. Let me give it the right path for FFmpeg. So, you type, type this out exactly as you see it here on the screen. You can pause the video if you need to. Uh, this value right here is the frame rate information and to get that you can go up and look at the command that we did to get the playlist information and that's it right there this 24p slash 1.001 so you want to note that and when you run this command to, uh, to check the uh, the, uh, the playlist info it's going to tell you what the frame rate is and that has to be exact just like that value in the uh, in this frim command that we're going to run so far I've done this with uh, four blu-rays and they've all had the same frame rate information so like I said you put this entire command in and just give it a name at the end there I'd give mine movie.mp4 and you run that and it is going to start creating this mp4 file you see now you've got it over here in BD rip and like I said that will combine your left and right video so we're gonna let that run that's gonna take a while as well and I'll be back as soon as that's done okay so now we have our new file with the side-by-side -side video, this movie.mp4, I'll click on it and we'll watch a few seconds of it so you can see that you have side-by-side -side video. So now your movie is a 3D movie is getting closer now that you can so you can watch it on your 3D TV. So the next step is to we're going to uh, convert this .sup file. That's your subtitle file we're gonna make that a uh, an SRT file that we can use to remux all of these files into a uh, a working movie so we're gonna use subtitle edit and what you want to import is this OCR blu-ray dot sub file and then you choose your file and you want to use this OCR via Tesseract as your method. Uh, you can choose your language. You can choose whether or not to have uh, italics over here in the uh, in the subtitles or your music symbols. Uh, over here on the auto correction, choose your language again. Uh, you want to fix OCR errors. Have that checked. Uncheck the prompt for unknown. Check the try to guess unknown and check this auto break. And that's all you have to set on this you're gonna click start OCR you can see now it's going through all of the chapters all of the the uh, sections of the movie and creating subtitles for it so uh, we'll let that run and I'll come back again when this is over
Okay, so your uh, subtitle edit is done now, going through all of the subtitle files, so you just click OK, and then go to File, Save As, and then you're going to save it as this .srt file. I've already done that, so I'm not going to save it. So when you're done with that, go ahead and close out Subtitle Edit, you're going to go back now you see you've got your uh, subtitle file, that SRT file. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you back on this tutorial on your audio encoding, if you were able to create that .dts file at the, at the very beginning when you ran your first EAC32 command uh, to extract that left and right and the subtitle, if it hadn't been a true HD like I'd showed you on mine, that it was I had to use FFmpeg but if it was a, a DTS audio and you were able to run this before you can remux this into a, the final movie you need to run this command with EAC32 on that .tts to convert it to an AC3 file so you need to do that and then you will have your uh, AC3 file like I do here to remux into the final movie so now the last thing we have to do to make the final product is run the MKV Toolnix GUI. And the first thing you want to do is go to your chapter editor and this chap.txt. You're going to drag it over into there and now you see this that's all your chapter information. And this right here is your chapter name. I don't like leaving it as the timeline entry. I like giving them a name like chapter one and then just two, three, four, and so on all the way to the end. Then when you're done uh, creating your chapter names, just go up to chapter editor. You're going to save it as an XML file and then save it as chap.xml. And I've already done that. You can see over here I've got the chap.xml. So uh, once you create that, go back to the multiplexer tab and drag your uh, movie, your mp4 file over, drag your audio, the ac3 file, and just leave add as a new source, and then finally your srt file for your subtitles. Okay, on your audio down here on the codec area click on that and give it a uh, choose the language that your audio is in same thing with your subtitle give it your language and then down here on the character set you want to choose UTF-8 for your subtitle uh, for the chapter XML file click on your output tab and then choose right there on the chapter file that you want to use and you want to use that chap.xml and then tell it what language that one is in and the character set for UTF-8 on the chapter as well and then down here uh, you can give it a movie name just whatever what you can save it back into this BD rip it's already got one set as movie.mkv so We'll just let it stay as that and just click start multiplexing. And the way it goes, I'll come back when this is done. Okay, so now you see that you are 100%, you're done with the uh, multiplexing. So you can go ahead and close that out you see you've got your uh, the movie.mkv and we'll run this for a few seconds and I'll show you that the uh, the subtitle file works and the audio is synced up to the video just fine so we'll go ahead and start this and then you can choose see so you have your uh, subtitle file here that you can choose so we'll turn subtitles on see the side by side and we'll go through a part and uh and in the moment quick question and there's your subtitles you're in to meet with the senators so 
you have your side-by-side -side 3d video and then you can play this on your TV uh, like I said I always use Cody to play all of my videos through but it, how, however you play uh, videos on your TV you should be able to play this and then uh, I have a video on my uh, channel on how to uh, watch these in uh, side by side on your TV to set your video settings on your TV or your 3D settings to uh, display this correctly where you can watch it in 3D so hope this has uh, helped you out and uh, like I said uh, I'll leave all the links for these three uh, pages to uh, get all the software that you need and then this tutorial page here uh, it has a lot of help stuff I haven't that I didn't even cover if you wanted to go through and read all that and uh, get some more information anyway thanks for watching uh, if you have any questions or comments please post below thank you